Right, Sam, a couple of weeks away from the Olympics now. How are you feeling? Are you in good shape? Uh, a bit longer than a couple of weeks. <laughs> but yeah, I'm uh, feeling well, quite tired at the moment. It's a hard block of sort of aerobic work. Um, so yeah, looking forward to going back home and, and feeling good down at sea level because it's hard work up at up our altitude, obviously. You're so. pretty familiar with here, though. You've been here a few times. Yeah, I've been here a few times. Yeah, I mean it's fantastic. The, you can obviously see the mountains in the background. Um, fantastic location to really get down to knuckle down to some hard work. Um, and we stay in some nice apartments with fantastic views every morning. So kind of gets you out of bed, which is quite nice. <laughs> well, what's a typical day like here? Um, generally start, depending what time, uh, pool time we can get, normally swim in the mornings and then go to the gym, um, then have lunch and come back, maybe have fencing lessons and then a run in the afternoon, um, depending on the day, sometimes we run in the mornings. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's quite tough, um, fencing as well, we've got some of the young French guys up here um, yeah. that kind of live and, and train and, and go to school here, so they're, they're quite good fencers as well, so we've been yeah. fencing them. And we're about um, 600 feet up. Does that make a big difference? Uh, we're about 6,000 feet up. Sorry. Yeah, 6,000 feet. Yeah, we're about 1850 at the moment. Yeah. Um, and this morning went up to about 2,000. Yeah, it's tough. The, the air's thinner. Uh, you can't get as much oxygen in your body. Um, and, and you can really feel it. Um, start Your legs start burning a lot sooner than you'd think um, they would. But yeah, it's tough. But it's, it's good mentally as well. You know you're pushing your body to the extreme. And when you get back down to sea level, you'll feel amazing, hopefully. Yeah. And um, London 2012. Your, your second Olympics, will, um, will the first Olympics, uh, having got one under your belt, will that help when you, when you, when you get there? Yeah, uh, definitely, yeah, the experience of going to games, um, going through kind of the whole process of the Olympics, going to the Olympic Village, um, seeing all the athletes, having that experience and not being blown away by it and not being in awe of, of, of the Olympics is, is, a, is a massive, um, vital tool to have. Um, you're there to perform, perform to your best of your ability um, and all the kind of charades that go on um, alongside it you kind of almost yeah you can you can get involved a little bit and, and enjoy the experience but you're there to perform so. and a home olympics is a once in a lifetime chance really isn't it that is yeah absolutely amazing um it won't come around obviously um again as, as an athlete it might come around as a spectator in 50 years time or something but um i, I can't i can't wait um but yeah it'll be absolutely amazing and um the guys have been in the shadow of the girls a little bit in the past how, how do we um how, how, how do you think we get on this time? Uh, I think both me and Nick have fantastic chances. Um, both both performing very well. Um, the men's field is obviously extremely strong, as, as well as the women's. Um, and yeah, we have been a bit in the shadow um, at the previous Olympics and, and maybe the last three Olympics. Um, but I think it's yeah our turn to step up and, and hopefully perform on the day. Um, oh. It's obviously tough to try and win an Olympic medal, um, but I think we have yeah both have a chance of doing so. And there's been some sort of real competition this time as well for places on the guys team yeah there has yeah absolutely yeah um with jamie cook um not well myself getting picked ahead of jamie cook i feel really sorry for him but he's going to be a fantastic athlete and and will be there in in rio i'm sure so um yeah he's, he's got he's got a few more years to to kind of get some more experience and then he'll be flying in, in four years time